Hello, students and parents. Uh, welcome to my virtual back to school night. Uh, my name is Paul Evans, and I'm going to be your English 10 teacher for this upcoming year. Um, if you need anything from me at any time, my contact information is here on this slide. Um, I'm always on my email, so I'm always pretty easy to get a hold of. And before anything else we get into for this virtual back to school night, I hope everyone's healthy and well and uh, staying safe as we enter into this next school year. Um, where I'm going to start is briefly an introduction about myself. Um, this is going to be my third full year at Golden. Um, in the last two years has been a privilege to work with the colleagues that I get to spend time with and the students that I get to interact with on a daily basis. And I, I cannot wait to get back into whatever form that's going to be. I can't wait to start working with you guys again. Um, the reason I wanted to become a teacher and the reason I continue to, to strive to be a better teacher is I had an English teacher when I was a sophomore at Arvada West High School down the road a, bit, a ways who completely changed my perspective on reading and books and literature and kind of how they can play a role in my life as opposed to just being an assignment that a teacher gives that you need to complete. Um, and I'm, I'm actually still in contact with him on a monthly basis probably. And it's just, it, it's great to still have a teacher in my life who I can aspire to learn from and be more like. Um, outside of the classroom, I like to read whenever I get a chance that's what I am doing. Um, I also just bought a house with my wife. So we've been trying to work on the house as much as we possibly can. Um, and I spend as much time as with my dog as I can, who's spending time with me right now. Um, that's about it about me. You'll learn more as we go. Um, this class specifically, uh, the way that I teach it, and I think the way that most of the sophomore classes are going to run is an American literature course. Um, how I approach this is it's it's a close reading of this country that we're living in and kind of your role in in this country. Um, this has been an interesting unit for the last couple of years, and it's going to be particularly interesting right now. We have a lot of stuff that we kind of got to sink our teeth into and uh, try to understand about the world around us. And my favorite part about this is I'm still trying to navigate these waters. And I, I love how students' perspectives often give me a, a new perspective and a new optimism about where we're going. Um, with that said, we're going to be reading a essays and poems and we're going to read architecture and we're going to read art and pieces of paintings and, and of course, novels. Um, the way that I teach them is they're all kind of having a conversation with each other. And it doesn't matter if it's F. Scott Fitzgerald writing about the Great Gatsby in 1920 or a, an essay in the Atlantic that was published yesterday. A lot of these conversations have been going on for a hundreds of years and we're still trying to kind of figure out those answers. Um, and I think the fact that we're still writing about them shows we don't have all of those answers yet. So my role is to present these texts to these students. And what I'm hoping the students can do is synthesize those. And that's kind of a big word for my class is taking all of these separate pieces that seem to be in completely different areas and different eras and about different topics and kind of forming them into your own position and your own views. And hopefully that view has nuance and it has perspective as opposed to just a flippant opinion that everyone seems to have that no one seems to seems to have thought too deeply about. Um, with that, the, the class itself, my goal in the past, especially when we were in person, has been to create a close knit learning community where everyone has the freedom and the confidence to share their own voice and their perspective and also be able to kind of um, have a different opinion than somebody else, but also be in a safe learning environment where they can you can disagree, but do so respectfully. And I think respectful disagreement is more important now, especially in an American literature class than ever before. My goal for the class is to be able to take that kind of discussion based learning community that was so that I thought was so dynamic in the classroom and try to find ways to be able to do that in the remote learning atmosphere. The student role in this, I can't do this on my own, especially with a discussion based class where we're trying to kind of deal with these big ideas. So the student rule is to, is to walk into this classroom with an open mind every day, looking to be challenged, looking to have their opinions and their positions pushed back against, and then also have the confidence to rebut that pushback. Um, with that being said, I encourage my students to take risks. This is, we're going to talk about uncomfortable things and being confident to talk about uncomfortable 
issues and, and controversial issues is a risk. And I understand that. So I'm, I, I hope to create a learning atmosphere that's that's safe enough that we can push each other and push back on each other. Um, a major thing this year, especially, is going to be asking questions, not just about the content that we're learning, but also the ways that I'm presenting that content might shift through the year, depending on if you're remote or if we're in person. So anytime there's any confusion, confusion, I encourage you not to waste time worrying about it or, or asking yourself that question, but come to me if there's anything I can do to make the content more graspable or the actual structure of the class. Because as we get into the next point, your flexibility and your patience is going to be a major factor in the success of this class and the school year as a whole for Golden. Um, being able to adjust and being able to take different information in different ways is going to make or break that my class especially, but the school year as a whole. Um, and the last thing is be prepared. That be prepared every day coming into the class, whether that means having read the text that we're going to be discussing, if no one's doing the reading, then it's up to me to do the talking. And I'm less interested in my own voice and much more interested in what you guys are thinking. So in order to grasp these big issues and these big topics, you need to put in the work outside of class to come to class prepared and ready to ready to sink our teeth and ready to get going with these big topics. Um, as for materials, um, the books we're going to read are actually probably going to shift depending on kind of what the school year looks like. The book that we are definitely going to start with that I would like you to begin seeking um, a copy of your own or a library copy or some kind of version of this book is the first book on this slide is Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer. Um, we'll start that probably three weeks into school. That will be the week that hybrid learning starts in person, if we get there. After that, the books that we're definitely going to get to are The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald and eventually Into the Wild by John Krakauer. There will be more books than this, and I will give you as much time to plan to get a copy of those books as I can. It won't be the spur of the moment thing, but right now those are the three books you should get a copy of that we will definitely be getting to at some point this semester. With these books, my goal is the Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close is about the sub kind of about the September 11th um, terrorist attack. And Great Gatsby is written in 1920. So there's almost a hundred years separating these two novels. And if we can find the conversation that's happening between those about this country, and then Into the Wild is about some is a another tragedy that happened in 1992. And I think all of these things are talking about the country we're living in in different ways, but also getting to the same conversation. So that's that's my entry point into this, as I'm not giving you these books in a vacuum. I'm giving you these books in converse, conversation with each other. And that's my entire role as a teacher, is to find ways that these are relevant to your life. Um, lastly, here's once again my email information. If you ever need anything from me, if you're a student or a parent, I am, I am here to help. I'm here to clarify any instruction that is a little confusing. I think if we if we can get past the logistical questions of how remote learning is going to look, we can get back into what learning should look like in the classroom environment, even if we're at home. So once again, if you ever need anything from me, here's my information. That's all from my virtual back to school night. If you need anything, once again, here it is. And I'm just really excited to get back to do and what we do best, which is learning and talking and growing as students and teachers and citizens. Can't wait to see you guys.